This is WCPO 9 News. Thanks for joining us for WCPO 9 News. I'm Sina Geber Ab, and here's a look at some of today's top stories. We're getting another look at a crash that shut down 71 South near the MLK exit last night. Firefighters say they found two people trapped inside these two cars. Both were taken to the hospital with serious injuries. We're also expecting to learn new details about the events that led up to Cincinnati police being involved in an officer involved shooting in Covington. According to the Cincinnati Police Union president, officers from the city's fugitive apprehension squad were in Covington looking for information on a suspect wanted for murder. The union says officers faced a life or death situation and had to use their weapons. CPD says they won't release the body camera footage from the incident today due to the shooting still being under investigation. Two men have been charged for a murder in Avondale. Prosecutor Joe Dieter says Tavon Coffey was driving a stolen car on Redding Road last June with Daenerick Williams and two 14 year olds. He says they drove near a crowd while Williams and the other suspects fired multiple shots, killing Galvin Beauchamp. Williams and Coffey each faced two counts of murder. Among other charges, the other suspects were also charged and could be tried as adults. A historic Cincinnati college will end its program for ordaining rabbis. The Board of Hebrew Union College Jewish Institute of Religion voted to end its residency program by the end of 2026. This marks the end of a 147 year tradition. That Clifton Avenue property will now be converted, then be converted into a research center that rabbinic students can visit while pursuing degrees in New York and Los Angeles. Raven. All right, so looking at mostly cloudy skies on home opening day, 60s to start off for the parade and continuing on up after that. Expecting some severe weather heading into Wednesday. That's your forecast. Have a good one.